Hello, everyone. Welcome again to another Word for Today with Ray. Uh, I'm so blessed just to be able to call it that um, because truly, it's the Word of God. Uh, God has used me over the years to be able to write and to speak about His Word, but it's truly God that's the one that's to be honored and praised. He gives gifts unto men. He gave us life and breath and it's only because of him that we're able to do anything that we do. And so all glory should go unto the Lord. But I am blessed in the midst of you learning about him and studying his word and growing in your walk with the Lord. That's exciting to me. And I pray that that's exactly what's happening through these podcasts. They're meant to be only four to six minutes long so that you could actually listen to them in your car, probably between a couple of red lights. And they're meant to inspire you to study the Word of God on your own and to realize that the Holy Spirit will teach each of us. And He's our true teacher, and that's why we always go to the Lord in prayer when we begin our study, as we want to invite Him to do that, to just teach us today. So, if you will, pray with me today as we begin. Heavenly Father, we are so grateful to you. Your, your word is a lamp into our feet. It's a light into our path. We know that when we hide your word in our heart, we will not sin against you. And it's just a blessing to have the word of the living God before us. And so we're excited today and ask you to teach us by your Holy Spirit and guide us into all truth and empower us to live according to that truth when we discover it. And Lord, that our lives will be honorable to you, that it'll be pleasurable to you. Uh, we know that for your pleasure we are and were created, and God, we want to fulfill that purpose, and that this time would be pleasing in your eyes. So bless our study today, and again, we thank you for giving your word to us, and we do so in Jesus' name, amen. The title to today's lesson is Judas Iscariot, and it's taken from the book of John, chapter 6, and verse 71. The Apostle John wrote after Jesus told his disciples and the Jewish people who were listening to him about eating his flesh and drinking his blood because he was the bread from heaven. From that time, many of his disciples went back and walked no more with him. Then said Jesus unto the twelve, Will you also go away? Then Simon Peter answered him, Lord, to whom shall we go? You have the words of eternal life. And we believe and are sure that you are the Christ, the Son of the living God. Jesus answered them, Have, I not, have not I chosen you twelve, and one of you is a devil? And in chapter 6 and verse 71 of his book, John shared how Jesus spoke of Judas Iscariot, the son of Simon, where we read, For he spoke of Judas Iscariot, the son of Simon. For he it was that should betray him, being one of the twelve. The verse reads, he spoke of Judas Iscariot, the son of Simon. John began with the words he spoke of, or Jesus affirmed, maintained, and described Judas Iscariot, which means the disciple of Jesus whose name means he shall be praised, and was an inhabitant of Kirioth, the son of Simon, or the male offspring or progeny belonging to Simon, whose name means a little rock or stone. John shared how the certain disciples who was a devil, was Judas Iscariot, who was born to another man named Simon. The verse continues, For he it was that should betray him, being one of the twelve. John added the words, For he it was, which means because since and on account that Judas Iscariot existed as the disciple that should betray him, or who was about to, intended to, and had in mind to deliver Jesus over treacherously to the authorities being one of the twelve, which means existing as a particular one of the original twelve disciples. John identified Judas Iscariot as the disciple of Jesus who would deliver him over to the authorities in a treacherous way. When we consider John's words in this verse, we learn that Judas Iscariot was the disciple of Jesus who would betray him. We know that John the apostle is writing these words after Judas already performed his act of betrayal, and this validated the way Jesus identified him well in advance of his treachery. Jesus knew Judas would betray him, and he chose him anyway. Jesus could have avoided Judas, but he didn't because people needed a Savior to pay the price for their sins, and every scripture concerning him must be fulfilled. God loves everyone. 
and his desire is to bring them into a relationship with him through his son, Jesus. Those who refuse and reject Jesus as their Savior and Lord are like Judas, who betrayed Jesus rather than receive him and his sacrifice, so they may live eternally with his Father God. Next time we begin a new chapter and see John share how Jesus would not walk in Jewry because the Jews sought to kill him. So read ahead and we shall join together then. Until tomorrow, there is more. And may the Lord bless you and keep you. May he make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. May the Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace as you continue to study his word in Jesus' name.